9 degrees, so everything just about on schedule. Very light winds, but it's a help to have at least a little bit. West in Daytona Beach at 5, Orlando northwest at 8 miles per hour, and Melbourne to calm, and that's what we don't like to see. However, we do have one advantage. We have these high clouds floating over the central part of the state, but you do see a few holes there over central Florida. That's not good. We like a solid cloud cover. The more clouds we have, uh, the more able they are to hold the heat in. There's not much heat to go around, but if you don't have any clouds at all, that means the temperatures will be lower than what we have forecasted. But we're going to stick with the forecast. Now, here's the center of the cold air west of us. It's moving rather quickly toward the east, and tomorrow morning will be our coldest morning in the afternoon. Uh, tomorrow, those temperatures will be a few degrees higher than today. You may not even know the difference. And then on Sunday, we expect a dramatic warming trend. The readings will be getting up into the 40s, the afternoon highs in the 70s. Meanwhile, in the northeastern section of the country, there's that storm still trying to get out of the area. They're still reporting snow, but gradually over the weekend, things will be clearing in that part of the country. And then out west, this low-pressure system we're keeping an eye on because that's going to be heading for the southeastern section of the country. I think by Sunday, it should be moving over Alabama, Georgia, and that will be creating some rain throughout that region and uh, maybe have a little bit down here in central Florida. But most of it is expected to stay to the north. And once the middle part of the country uh, gets in the back side of this high, in other words, the western side of the high as it moves eastward, moisture from the Gulf is going to feed that storm, so a lot of rain is expected. And maybe once it gets off the Carolina coast, we might see it develop a little bit again. So we'll be seeing more rain and snow up in the northeastern section of the country. Hey, it's a January, it's a winter season. They should be getting ready for this type of action. Let's take a look at our weather picture for tonight. And really, we just had one name on the picture. It was Santorelli, said Orlando. And that's all it was. So if that's your picture and that's your name, uh, we wish you had written us uh, your full name. But anyway, that's it. <laughs> Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Sunny and cool. The highs... In the middle 60s, the winds will be northeast at around 10 miles per hour. By the way, the early morning low temperature is going to be tomorrow morning. This is for Sunday. Now, for tomorrow morning, it's going to be down around 36 in the colder locations. Ocala, Gainesville, the general of that part of the state, it's going to be freezing, and there will be patchy frost. And then Sunday, slightly warmer, scattered showers, lows about 46, highs near 70. The winds southeast at 4 to 8 miles per hour. So it's going to be brief. And we don't expect a lot of trouble from it. And if you haven't uh, taken the plants in now and the little animals, you better do so now. And if you don't care about them, leave them up. And there will be frost. No, bring them in. Yeah, that, that's uh, the best thing. To <laughs> do. And after pretty. that, it'll warm up again. We'll get back to Florida weather, at least for January. And it won't be uh, bad at all. At least I didn't have to talk about hurricanes tonight. That's Ooh, Buddy's job. <laughs> that's right. Buddy's got to talk about hurricanes. Coming up next, Buddy Pittman and the best highlights from tonight's Fiesta Bowl. We'll be right back.